Good morning, good morning. This is the Pink Girly Channel, and this is Lori. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Mina. Mina, I loved your card. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I appreciate that. Well, it's chilly here in Jersey, and uh, it looks like snow. So, of course, I've been humming um, White Christmas. I just looked up the lyrics because I like the beginning where um, the original, it says, uh, the sun is shining, the grass is green. Good morning, Kathy. The orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills, LA. Oh, I started too low. LA, but. And then I was going to switch it up and say it's December the 22nd. The original says December the 24th. And I'm longing to be up north. Good morning, Kimberly Ray. I think Kimberly Ray is such a cute name. I know we're not all dreaming of a white Christmas. I do like a white Christmas. All right. So, ladies, as people start to trickle in, I was watching Dee Dee one time and she was talking about. Um, prayer scrolls and I thought oh that was that is so cute I could use one of them and I never made one and then a couple days ago I was praying for a couple people and I'm like lord who who else am I supposed to be praying for and a lot of times Mrs. Gigi good morning hello I guess it's afternoon for you perhaps and I thought you know I should make I should really make myself a, a prayer scroll and then last night I was thinking, oh, maybe I would like one that has more than one scroll in it. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. So to warm us up and get us started, I had a roll of, you know, this calculator um, stuff. I'm going to use paper for the scroll itself and then fabric and different things for the holder of the scroll 4 p.m mrs Gigi, it's getting to be about getting to be about dinner time oh look i just i just picked in my ear so i had a little i scratched it now i've got the bloods I remember my granddaughter, she was having a birthday party. She was three years old and we got there. I picked her up and she screamed. She'd hurt her bum. She fell off her parents' bed, hit hit a basket, and she had a little ding on her, on her bum. And she said, and then I got the bloods. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love kids. You have a roll of this? I've had it for a while and I keep threatening myself to write on it, but I haven't. So I've taken off three pieces. I'm going to start with three. And to warm us up, I'm going to tea stain this paper because I want it to look not white. Usually I would use uh, coffee, but today I did tea bags. And I guess my pieces, you can make them any size, correct? But I made these about 24, 25 inches just because. So I'm just going to start making a mess here. And I just have a paintbrush. And it's just going to, it's just going to give it a light. I didn't want it too dark because I want to write on it. And I want to be able to read what I've written. So I thought I make my coffee. Of course, I could have made the coffee lighter, but I just I had the tea bags and I don't know why. I just did it. I just did tea. So good morning. Good morning to everyone and all who are coming in. I hope you're all doing well, staying warm. Um, I don't know what we're expecting. I think we might get some snow, but, you know, I just don't know. And everybody's talking about snow. 
there's Miss Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Kathy, one time, this is years ago when I was doing a painting video. I guess I was painting ceramics and I had just started to record stuff. And I had my water cup sitting right where this is sitting. Okay, now the real trick is finding a place where this can dry. I'm going to lay it over top. You know what? I'm going to lay it. Well, I have a little table behind me. I'm going to lay it there. And one of the comments was the lady didn't know why I kept putting my paintbrush in my coffee. And I had to I had to go back and explain it wasn't my coffee, it was my dirty paint water. But this is tea. So I thought we'd warm up by getting this started. And this hopefully will dry. Now my room is really cold. We did turn my heater up, but it's still really chilly. Yes, I originally was streaming on Thursday mornings, and I would come on at 10. If Murray uh, was not on, if she had other plans, I would then maybe pop on early sometimes. Uh, but then um, CK Art decided she was going to move to Thursday. And to be quite honest, I didn't really want any competition, and I like to listen to Colleen and Kathy. And so I switched over to Colleen's spot on Friday mornings, which was fine. But then my husband retired. And, you know, if we wanted to do something on Friday, you know, it just, it was just okay. And he was very, very good, was very good about it. You know, we don't do a lot. Okay, we just don't. But, and then Colleen decided she was not streaming anymore on Thursday. So I jumped back to Thursday morning. And that's work, that really does work out better for me. I just don't like to overlap if, if I don't have to um, with anyone that's in our community. And that just, you know, I know it's the internet. I know it's open for anybody. And all that is wonderful and swell. But for me personally and in my heart, I just would rather not overlap, um, you know, in, in my art community here. So there, there you go. So now I'm on Thursday mornings, back to my original spot at 10. I popped on a little early today. I had me tinkle. And I uh, got my drink. And so I just came on early. But normally it's 10. And then I stream Sunday mornings at 11. I don't know that I'll always stay in that time slot. But I am there right now. And then Monday evenings. Because Lisa, I wanted to pick up an evening. And Lisa, my eclectic life moved to Monday afternoon. And so, there you have it. Well, you know, I have a little bit of that. Not, not, I don't really feel it's rude. I just, you know, I'm nosy. I hate to miss out. I enjoy the gals that I interact with and the streams that I go to. And I'm fairly new. And, uh, you know, I don't, I, I really didn't think I would survive the competition that's part of it i mean i am trying to grow my channel so there you have it all right so i've been working on my felted penny circles and oh, i just love them i'm not going to show you because they're for a christmas gift so i might do a recording before i wrap those up and just do a video 
but I'm not really a good stitcher. Um, I'm learning. I'm not like, uh, you know, a Susan Taylor Brown or um, the Canadian artist, artisan. I'm not, you know, like that, but I do like it. So I took a piece of felt. Now, this is a piece of navy felt. This was a skirt that I found at the Goodwill. I wanted to, good morning, Mitzi. I wanted to felt, and what I've discovered is my my washing machine is really kind of too new to felt, but this, this felt it up pretty good. I really wanted some sweaters, but I'll tell you what, I got weary of trying to look at all the labels because there's so many fabrics now that feel like wool. I, I just got tired of looking at the labels. So then I was scooting through to go back to where like the arts and the household things are. Bye, Teresa. Teresa's headed out. Be careful. She's got to take her car to the shop again. Oh, dear. And so this was a navy skirt. That skirts. Oh, my gosh. Wool skirts. People still wear wool skirts. So I picked up a couple of skirts. So this felt it pretty good. It could have felt it down a little bit more. Now, when I watch Dee Dee, she gets ribbon and she makes her amazing um, prayer scrolls with ribbon. So I had this piece of ribbon that I like. It's just, of course, plain green. Good morning, Kimberly557. Good morning. Now, this one has the um, wire on the sides, which I don't want. So I didn't know if anybody was here, didn't know how to remove wire from ribbon. You just really cut your end, give it a little push. I don't know if you can even see that. And then you just give it a yank. And if you can't really yank it, then get a pair of pliers. But see, this just kind of scoots down. This is also a way you can gather some wired ribbon if that's what you might like for a project but I'm going to pull this all the way out and I'm just going to say right up front I have no idea what I'm doing I just got this idea in my head now I'm going to save this because I could really use this you know to make another button tray or something this is nice thin pliable wire and uh, like i've said before i have a metal desk unit in the corner of my room here so i've got magnets everywhere and see i just attach this wire to that magnet and then when i'm ready for it i feel like i have to i'm stretching more than i need to let me see if i can adjust my camera a little bit and then when i need it it's just hanging right here in front of my face in front of my face, my big old face. Okay. So there you go. Now I'm just going to share with you my idea and then I'm going to, I hope, stitch and start to work on my prayer scroll holder, if you will. So I've got this now, it's going to hang this way. Not this way, this way, unless I change my mind, like my purple pin cushion. And what I'm thinking now, any of this could change at any moment. I'm thinking I am going to put my ribbon on top of my felt. I'm going to leave a little bit up here because I think I'm going to bring that down so I can hang this right and then I left it extra long at the bottom so that if I want to dangle anything off of the bottom I've got um, room to play with now if I'm not mistaken I think Dee Dee buys really wide ribbon and like folds it in half, glues it or stitches it 
and then she leaves this, you know, this open down here to hang her the scroll in, if I'm not mistaken. And then she decorates, makes it all beautiful, puts a little thing on the top so it can hang, right? But I'm, I was wondering, what if I wanted more than one scroll in there? So I was thinking, what if I just sewed and left little spots to stick a scroll in? Now, of course, I could probably stick them in here. I didn't really think about that. What I was actually thinking was I took a piece of, um, I know, purple tomatoes. When I was looking for stuff to sell at the market, I bought a small lot of pin cushions and a, there was a purple one. I couldn't, I couldn't part with it. So I took a piece of, um, of a man's hanky and tore it up, put it in my tea this morning, ironed it and, and ironed in those little edges. And I was thinking I would put it here so that I could stitch and slip my scrolls in here. See, and then I could decorate the front. That's what I'm thinking. So if I go with my original idea, I need to, now I could probably do more than three because I made this so long, so. Actually, when I first started to think about it, I was thinking I could have a scroll for each day of the week. I know Dee Dee is so creative and she is a lovely person. Um, so I was thinking, oh, seven might be a lot, but see, I did really make it long. So I'm going to leave it long. Just because that's my original idea. So I'm going to put, now that's not real straight there. I think I could bend this. Hey, Christine G, good morning. She's sheltering in. I think I'm going to flip my felt and leave that rough edge at the bottom. All right, so I'm just going, and like I said, I want to leave a fair amount there, and I'm going to put a pin here just to hold it. Now I'm going to give you my idea as far as decorating. So I pulled out a bunch of stuff. I pulled out stuff. I pulled out a bunch of uh, my embroidery. Hey, good morning, Mary. Um, pulled out a bunch of embroidery threads. She'll, some embroidery threads here. But see, like I have a little piece of Christmas Sour Patch Kids. Get out. Wish I had seen them. I put... Sour Patch something for my son-in-law. Well, he's not going to watch. He loves he loves all that sour stuff. So I was thinking, see how I said on my last stream, I like this cantha that I have. So I was thinking about putting a little piece of that down somewhere. I cut this little oval out this morning. Um, that's felt. And then I put that in my tea. And then I've got some hearts, black and red felted hearts. Look, I got this at the market. These are, is this a pair of earrings? And I just thought they were adorable. And then when I got it, it has this memory verse on it, this Bible verse on it. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far more above rubies. Proverbs 31, 10. Well, I'm going to put that in my, somewhere on my scroll. Oh, a buttered tart. <sighs> Kimberly, do you see Mary's asking you for some info? 
All right, so then I have this. I might stamp on this. And I just pulled out some laces. Look at this, I found this in my button bin. It's a hook, it's not for a bra, but it's some kind of a, a hook. I'm gonna hang something from there and stitch this on somehow. And then I'll close up that hook. Mary slept through her alarm. I was looking for you, Mar. And then this little piece of fabric that I can maybe stamp on, we'll see. This, I was thinking about hanging a piece of this off of the bottom. Because if I just do one section, that's almost a perfect fit. And then look at some of these goodies I found in one of my bags. Appliques. Look at that cute little number. Huh? I might pin some buttons. I'll put some buttons on here. I might pin some pins. I just don't know where I'm going with it. I could cut off a section of this. So it's going to be a mishmash for sure. But what I want to keep in mind is, is that at some point, before it's all said and done, I am going to stitch across and leave a little opening where I can slip in scrolls. All right. So I'm definitely going to stitch up at the top. And then I have to leave room for a, a, a scroll. Now, see, I don't have this ribbon on here exactly in the center. I guess it really doesn't have to be all that terrific. All that Tom terrific. So I'm going to put these pins where I think I might want to be stitching for a scroll. And just to keep in mind that if I'm going to stitch here. Hey, morning, Riri. Hi, Shannon. If I'm going to stitch here, um, you know, I may not want to put, say, my applique on until after I've stitched. Right. So let's just see what I end up with. Let's see how many I end. So say I want to stitch here, here and here, and then I'll leave a little, little gapper. And I'm going to stitch here. And I don't need much room because I can roll that scroll fairly tight. Now, for you, those of you who are just coming in, I took about 24 inches of um, adding machine paper and I stained it with my, my coffee, I mean my tea. And I've got that sitting off to the side, hopefully drying. I don't know, it's so stinking cold in here. It might not dry. I might have to hit it with the, I'm not gonna be ready for the scroll today. Okay, let's let's just be honest. I stitch at a snail's pace. So this, this really probably is probably a little too, let's, I think I'm being a little too generous. Let's, let's move this up. Move this up. Oh, Barbara, you, you know, I'm, I'm not sorry either. If you, if you're getting, if you're getting weather where you can leave your door open, I'm happy for you, girl. I'm happy for you. All right. So scroll can go there. Space scroll can go here. I'm going to need another little space. And they don't have to be even. This is just. Uh. You know, I can I can adjust another space. Uh, 
I mean, let's see if I'm getting off a little bit. This is a little, I, I guess I, I really would like to judge this over, but I feel like it's moving, even though I have it pinned down. If I'm driving you crazy with this, I'm so very sorry. That's one thing I found about the penny circles that I was stitching. I didn't want to use glue because I didn't want to put my needle through glue. Some of the videos I watched, the ladies, um, you know, glue their little discs down so they don't move. But I didn't really want to do that. And another lady, the last lady I watched, which her work was amazing. Um, and if you don't know what I mean by a penny circle... It's felt that years ago, probably in the 1800s, I forget what the one gal said, uh, to decorate things when they didn't have much money or fabrics available, they would like cut old, old um, wool or they would felt old sweaters or things they were, you know, going to be getting rid of. And then they would trace with pennies circles and then they would stack them and layer them on top of each other and stitch. And I just find them very endearing and darling. All right. So scroll goes there. Scroll goes there. Space. This one. I'll make this one a little lighter. A scroll would go here. And I'm going to need another space, and a scroll can go here. Okay, Re. Re's going to be a lurking. If we need you, we'll give you a, we'll give you a shout. You say, Re, Re, to the front of the to the front of the classroom. Okay. Now I've got my backing. So I'm trying to be aware of that too. So now I want another space. Gosh, I hope this turns out. <laughs> and then another scroll, I think. Mythics. Another space. And then I'm going to see what I ended up with. Dee Dee's way to do it is much easier, for sure. But no, I can't do it the easy way. Okay, and I want to leave this at the bottom for I don't know what yet. All right, so let's see. So this means I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six. So I think six is good. I mean, I could probably do, do my seven. Right. So then I was thinking with the um, coins, with the penny, I should just go get I should just go get one of my stupid coins. My sisters aren't watching. So I'm making them for my sister. Shh, my sisters, don't tell. So what I was thinking is I would come along now and do a, I don't know what they call it, a buttonhole or a blanket stitch along the edge. Just to tack everything down. Right. This is still off. See, this is, I just got a little bit on this side. I just, I keep moving it over. Okay, do you have to wait 25 minutes for the butter tart because they're in the oven? Like, are, are they going to be warm? Oh. Uh. So if I keep zhuzhing this over, 
I feel like it just keeps coming back. So now I have to decide about color. All right, now let me put some of my goodies off to the side. And I pulled out some of this kind of thread. And I have my needles here. So I could stitch it on my machine, but I thought I might like to hand stitch it um, as far as, you know, the decorating stuff. This is kind of a, <clears throat> kind of a, it's not really yellow. It's not really gold. It's kind of like, I don't know, puce. <laughs> it's kind of like puce, luscious, warm, ooey. Oozy, gooey, warm, yummy, nummy, warm. Ugh. Are you putting any cream or whipped cream on top? Just, you know, just curious. Just curious. Okay. So, I think for my sides, if I can get it to work correctly, I'm going to use, as most of you would know, I don't know about, you know, replayers, the, um, it does have a gold hue to it, but it's not extreme. It's got a little bit of a greenish cast to it. I'm just going. I'm just going to start. Hey, it's just fabric. I have plenty. Good morning, Marty. And it's just cotton thread. I could cut it off if I don't like it, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of this now. You probably shouldn't make it too long because it, it cannot. It really cannot. It cannot, cannot. But I don't think I want to have to deal with it not having enough in the middle. Yeah, you could call it. It's a little light. It's like a light khaki. A light khaki. Now, these are Chanel, Chanel needles. I don't know. That's a pretty big one, but I'm going to try that one first. Now, it makes sense for me and my brain to start here and go this way. The one lady that I watch, I'm going to, I'm going to put this lady's link. I don't know her name. Um, in my description box. Uh, she was doing the penny, the penny, um, Felted penny circles. She was stitching right to left. And she was a right-hander. But that did not make sense to me in my brain. So in the words of Tim Holtz, you do you. Now let's see if I can get all these little thread thread -a bobs This lady had a cool way to thread this needle too, but I have to watch it again. I couldn't get it to work. She runs the needle over across the top of the thread on her finger or something, and it like pops right in the hole. Amazing! So I'm going to put a little knot, a little knitty knot here. Calories have been canceled for the holiday. And for those of you who came in late, I was singing. The sun is shining, the grass is green. The orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a day. Malia? Malia, Malia. Good morning. All right. So this is where I get confused. I'm going to have to make sure I grab the back of my... Thank you, Marty. I appreciate that. You're so sweet to me. All right, so I have to go through all these layers, and I want to start, uh, I'm going to start back here. Mm, maybe I'll start here. I just want to bury that thread. Now, this is new for me. I'm new at this, so these stitches are not going to be, is Dana here? Gosh, I'm missing everybody. Hi, Dana. 
Um, a really smart thing would have been before I started to paint, I could have put down a piece of washi tape to make a straight line, but I didn't, and I'm not going to take it apart now. So, and I'm just going to go all the way to the back because I don't know what I'm doing. But what I will tell you is, you know, see, this is going to be fiddly because I have my pins. Yeah, I don't want the, I don't want that. I don't want that stitch to show show there. All right, so I'm already I'm already wrong. Once I get going, I'm good. It's the getting and the going that I have that I struggle with. So, oh, I know what I see. I do this all the time. You don't want to put the thread through. You want to Grab a piece on the back sideways. That's where I always make the err. All right, so re-threading, re-threading. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills, LA. But it's December the 22nd. That's not in the lyrics. And I'm longing to be up north and dreaming of a white Christmas. Okay, so let me grab, see, I'm going to go sideways here. Grab the fabric that away. Tucking my tail down, putting my tail, put my tail down. And I'm going to come, I'm going to come down pretty far because I want to be able to catch here. Now, some of this is going to get covered up with other stuff, but I don't care about that. So I'm going to come way down here. And for right now, I'm going to come right up there. And I'm going to pull, hopefully, my first stitch. My thread is to the left of my. Yeah, didn't do something right there. But I will. See, look how crooked it is. You may want to go get a coffee and a refill till Lori gets this started, but I am bound and determined to get it correct. I want it to be a certain way. Now, I practiced this. I sat for one whole day and did my circles. But they were different. I think I want to start down there further so I can be... Is anybody, Marty, I know you're giggling. You should probably have saved to clean your butcher block now. Do, 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 do. The hooping palm tree sway. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills. I'm starting back further, even further still. No, I've gotten myself a knot. But it's December the 24th and I'm longing to be up. Maybe I want to come through here. No. Okay, so I'm going to tell you. Go on YouTube and find a video. All right, so I'm going to start here. I'm putting my thread to the left. I'm coming down. And I want to go right back up where I have that thread. Going right out to the edge. But I want my thread to be the left to the left of my needle. To the left, to the left. Lift. I hope this is straight. Now, the ladies on YouTube say, don't pull your thread over to the right. 
pull it straight up and you have a better shot of getting a, a somewhat straight stitch. So now I like to put my thread over my finger and you can put them at any width that you want. See, that's still a little crooked, but I'm going to let it go. I got to get crackalack in here. So I'm trying to catch that back. I can put something over top of there. And if I don't catch it everywhere, I can tack it. It's just so tacky. I want it down there further, girls. I have myself so confused. No, no, I want it done in 2022. Look, these scissors are terrible. Look how wonderful this is. You're learning what not to do with the paint girly. Do 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 la da dee -de -de. The one lady said, "You really don't have to knot this. You can bury your you can bury your thread." Oh, by gosh, by golly! It works so well in the circles. Oh, by gosh, by golly! Maybe if I pull, but see, I want that navy blue to be showing. If I go in here, I keep taking the pins out. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't want to start from the other end. I want to go this way because that's the way my brain works. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. All right, here we go. I'm just, you know what? I'm not worrying about this back strip. I'll worry about that another way, another time. See, that's, I'm trying to crab that. <sighs> All right, here we go. Back up right, right to where we were. I should put my other glasses down. You know what? I'm not saying that would really help. But once I get going, you're going to be amazed. All right, I'm going to keep this thread over my finger. And I'm going to come in from the front. And we're going to try to space these like this. Oh, Shannon, happy birthday to your mom. My neighbor was 94 in November. Oh, girls, I took my neighbor out for, um, oh, I didn't put my, I didn't put my thread where it should be. I took my neighbor out for our little, um, it <laughs> helps you if you cuss. I know, I don't want to do it. For our little light tour, I put in, uh, I put on a red sweater. And I had little uh, candy cane antlers from the dollar store. And I had uh, a green scarf on. And I arrived and told her the uh, light tour was about to begin. So she was giggling before we went. And I had the radio on in the car playing Christmas music. And I had made us hot chocolate. And see, so you want your thread to come through that loop. It's a lot easier without pins. And then I had Christmas cookies for her. And oh, I just almost dumped that in my tea. So I'm getting my needle in straight. I'm trying to keep it even here, which I know it's not going to be even. 
and my th my needles coming up on the other edge of my ribbon. And I'm just trying to get past these pins. And then I'm just, I'm not pulling it real snug because I don't want it to um, buckle my fabric. And then we went around and saw the Christmas lights. So she enjoyed it. It was fun. All right, I'm going to put this pin back in because that's where one of my scrolls is going to go. I think I just caught the back of that back lining. So here we go. I'm off to the races. This really didn't take that long. You know what? Maybe I should. Here, let me do this. It didn't take me too long to do my little circles. Where's my little cleanup? Clean up, clean up, everybody do their job. Clean up, clean up. I pretty much love all the sailors in a fleet in a permanent blush when I struggle. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying, Marty. I got it. I got it. All right, so I got that thread. I like it over my, over my finger. It helps me. Um, make sure my thread is coming. So here we go. Coming up inside that loop. It's a huge loop because I pulled off so much fabric, so much thread. Less talking, less talking. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm coming in here, going right to the edge of my ribbon. It's like, I want it to look like, you know, people make those fabric scrolls, like Carol made one. Um, you know, she did like all different months, I guess, and stuff that happened to her. This is so, in, in, this is so, <laughs> this is so SEW interesting, Lori, but all of your struggles are. <laughs> I have said many times, and you may forget, I am a struggle. But I'm usually fun. And then you just want to give it a little, little tuggly tug. So I'm just going down here. The back on the other side of my ribbon. I'm thinking now I should have just made, you know, enough for three scrolls and made it a lot shorter. This is my life. I always could afternoon, Janet Nash. Did you smell Barbara's butter tarts? Thank you, Shannon. Butter tarts. Did you smell the tarts? Now, if anybody else is, if anybody here in the chat is interested in what I'm, in what not to do and what wants me to get up closer to the camera, I can do a couple up closer to the camera. Now that one got a little, that one's a little wider than the others. But you know, if it gets too awful, um, you know, I can I can sew something else. I can sew something else right on top. Barbara said, Oh my gosh, the smell of those butter tarts is amazing. I need to put a bit of them on my <laughs> My grandmother used to use vanilla for perfume. Can you believe I just hooked the just hooked the pin cushion? Oh my gosh, by golly. 
I could go a lot faster if I didn't have these pins in. I'm just saying. The Queen of Hearts made some tarts on all the winter's day. You know what I pulled up? I pulled up towards the night before Christmas. I love to read out loud. I was thinking about reading that. I was thinking about reading it before we go. I just love to read out loud. Nobody wants to listen to me. And you guys are somewhat of a captive audience. And if you don't like it, you can <laughs> hit delete. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Bubby. Get around there. See, it's the pins. I should have used pins with no heads. Off with their heads. Off with their heads. Oh my gosh. I'm oh boy that I don't know why I have that stuck in my head. All right, so my husband likes to watch um movies. He's a big Hallmark guy. And um, call the school. You loved guest readers. Oh, really? That reminds me of Mrs. Doubtfire. I keep offering, offering to help my daughter in her classroom, but she won't take me up on it. Anyhow, oh, good grief. Now, if this doesn't look like a fourth grader did it, I don't know what does. All right, we're coming down the not so home stretch. There's one book when my kids were in kindergarten. The um, teachers, there were three teachers, and they were in what they called pods. It was not a traditional classroom. It was one large open space. And they had divider walls, but they weren't up to the ceiling. They were like partitions. There, there was only a partial wall. So there was always like a dull, a dull noise. And you could hear really what went on in the other pods. But these three ladies, um, then they would get them all together to do like, say, a unit of uh, history or whatever, you know, or, or, you know, to read a book. And there's this one book, I don't know what the heck it's called. I've blocked the name of it from my memory. But it was something that said, um, I'll love you forever or something like that. I don't know. I, I was hysterical. I was there helping, you know, cut out things. I would volunteer a couple of hours. I was like sobbing this book. I don't know how they read it. My daughter can read it. She doesn't cry. But it's about this woman taking, you know, care of her son. And then when she gets old, he takes care of her. And at one point, he's got her sitting in his lap. I mean, it's horrible. Okay. Sorry, it's horrible. All right. So I started to tell you about my husband watching movies. Sometimes I just think he watches just for the sake of watching. I mean, like some of these movies the acting is ter absolutely terrible the storylines of course even with the hallmark they're all the same not there's there's nothing new and um it's just ugh. yes i will love you forever 
I will love you for always. As long as I'm lemming, my baby, you'll be. Yes, Shannon. Oh, it's horrible. I mean, it's good, but it's horrible. Hi, Gail. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a crier. I mean, I could cry at the drop of a pen. If you're on the street crying and you're you're a stranger, I'm crying with you. You want somebody to cry with you? Give me a ring. Give me a jingle. I will chime right in. It's awful. It's it's awful to be like that. It doesn't help anybody. <sighs> My daughter says, yeah, I can read it, Mom. It's not a big deal. Okay. She's like her father. But some of these movies that have been on, oh, my gosh, they're just horrible. Horrible. You have that book on your shelf? Hey, Dee Dee, good morning. Saw so prayers, scroll, and glad to see others are making them. This one I'm making, hopefully, Dee Dee, I, I did mention you earlier. And the girls were saying how clever and creative you are, which you are. Look, see, Dee Dee doesn't have this trouble. I should put them in the other way. I'm hoping to have this one hold several scrolls. At least that's my, that's my thought. See, now this is what you want to be careful. If you don't, if you pull your thread too quickly, of course, if you don't make it, you know, the length of a football field, you know, you you, you have an easier. See, I, I just got a knot because I'm busy yapping, yappy dapping. Dee Dee already was out and has done her errands. Good girl. So she's back. Somebody else was just leaving. Oh, to take her car. Teresa had to go take her car to the shop. You know, I think it's good that, well, I did catch some of it, but I, you know, the one thing I forgot about, um, you know, putting this backing on because I want to stitch onto the front. I don't want to stitch through my backing. Of course, I guess I could, just not where I want my scrolls to go. Now this guy's giving me trouble. He's not going through there for whatever reason. So I'm just going to come. I'm going to just do this one side, and then we'll move on. Because I know we all... At times, don't mind watching paint dry. I'm just trying to catch that. All right. Look, this guy's jumping out of his spot. Get back in there. I can do this a lot better without my nails on, too. See, for me, holding that nail. You can? Oh, that's good news, Gail. Yay, I wonder what changed. I don't know what changed. All right, so I bought a bag of um, different fabrics and appliques and stuff from um, the market. 
and I forgot I had it. I discovered it a couple of days ago, but it had some really cool stuff in there. So I'm hoping to use some of that stuff. And then I was uh, working at my desk and Erin from the Adirondacks came on. She was having a sale. And, you know, I was going to, I was telling myself I wasn't going to, you know, purchase anything. But apparently she had gotten her hands on, um, I guess that uh, she was at an estate sale or something. And she had gotten her hands on uh, this gal's um, different yarns and stuff like that. So I purchased that. So it came yesterday. And there's a fiber in there I have never seen before, but I'm thinking I want to use it on here. It says it's cotton, but it's real flat and it's real skinny, like maybe about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to show you some of that. But, you know, stitch wise, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I could wing it. I could wing it. My husband goes and sits in the car if I, you know, if he deems I'm too long. He's very ill. He always, he always brings a book. So, oh my gosh, girls, I don't know. I think I'm going to be just a little bit short to get to the end. I don't know. <laughs> Barbara, I remember you saying this. Barbara says one time, um, I guess her hubby tagged along and they went down the baby aisle and she threw baby wipes into the cart and he just looked at her like, huh? We didn't know it was a must have art supply. That's too funny. Too funny. So hubby and I are supposed to start wrapping later today. So that'll be good. I've got a few things I'm still trying to finish up. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. I think it might be morning for you. I'm not sure. Good day. Nice to have you here. Oh, I don't want to get my thread undone. This isn't too bad. Tina. Hello, Tina. She's just stopping in to give a little love and saying hello. Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. I'm coming down the to the end here. Now I left the ribbon go past my felt strip because if I want to dangle anything, I can always trim it off. But I thought if I could just leave it a little longer, it gives me more options. More options. So Oh my gosh, I'm just barely going to make it. Barely, barely. So hubby took a run to Walmart. That's where he is now. He's going to pick me up. I need, need a couple of goodies to put inside of gifts. So he's going to pick that up for me. So that's great. And then I should be good. All right, I'm going to try to get this last stitch in. Of course, the experts tell you not to do this. You want to leave yourself some wiggle room. But I'm just going to leave my thread hang there. All right. So now I just want to remember, 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 remember. This is where I want to pop a scroll. 
And then I've got space. Pop another scroll, some space, a scroll. Let's move this one up a little bit. All right. So now I'm just going to treat this like I really don't want this backing on now that I think about it. That was silly. That is stitched down there. So I just have to be aware of that when I start stitching stuff to not go down. Yeah, this is wired ribbon, Dee Dee. I really like it too. Just gives me a nice, a nice base. All right, so now I'm going to just start laying out some ideas with some of the things that I've gathered. Okay, so I want to start with. I think I want to get a little piece of this one. There was another piece of, yeah, look at this. I should have used a different kind of marking, I think, but that's okay. You like blue and green, Tina? Yeah, I didn't want it to look, you know, Christmassy, but green's my favorite. So I wanted to get green in there and I knew I had that ribbon and it's not, it's more like a, more like a burlapy cloth kind of ribbon. So I took the wire out and I think that'll work, you know, pretty nice for me. So now I'm going to just start clipping little pieces of my treasures here. And then just see what I can come up with. So this is where a scroll will go. You like green too? I love green. And I've got some littler pins here. Oh my gosh. I bought a um, an older sewing box from Goodwill. And it had a bunch of threads in it. And then it had a couple other little containers of stuff. Well, when I got home, the little tiny disc container... It had for these little teeny tiny pins. I'd never seen anything like it. Well, then I came to find out that they were their, um, I think, sequence pins. Oh, my gosh. I can barely even hold on to them. Tina says, I'm wearing a green shirt right now, along with green fuzzy socks to match. Hanging out of my Dr. Martens. <laughs> All right, so here's another little piece. So I think I'm going to put another little piece of this down a little further. Bum, 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 bum. When you say Doc Mark, can I, Martin, I think of something different. How cute is that? Now I do want to stitch this other side, so I'm just, I'm just temporarily pinning stuff where I think I might want it. And I don't mind if stuff is going to hang off the edge. I know, right? I found that in the bag of goodies that I bought at the market. I didn't know I had it. Is Ange here? Hi, Ange. All right, so. Hmm. So, you know, up here, I want to do some kind of little loop-de-doo so then I can hang this. So that's why I left some extra, extra, extra there. Maybe up here, I'll just do this and then attach something in my oval. 
Maybe that's where I can put my verse. Let's see if I can get this verse on here. Bought this at the market, and when I got it, it's got a verse right here. It's also got this little band-aid. Who knows why? Who knows why? I'm easily enabled, too. I hope I didn't miss anybody coming in. All right, this I'm gonna sip. This this looks like where's the nurse, Shannon? You were Shannon, you were a nurse, right? This is like a butterfly, a butterfly bandage, isn't it? Ah, I don't want to rip my verse. This came with the earrings, and it is Proverbs thirty one. I'm going to try to make this as small as I can. And I want to get that edge rough too to match. So I'm going to use my little, my little Timmy tool. <laughs> I'm making a prayer scroll, Ange. But I'm making one with several compartments so I can put several scrolls so like say on monday i can pull one out and pray over the things that are on that particular scroll shannon says she has canvas flowers soft black leather ones and red ones oh they sound nice oh malia said she almost turned into a block of life she went outside all right, or Tina is headed out. Have a great day, Tina. And if I don't see you, have a wonderful holiday, okay? Merry Christmas. All right, let me see. I want to get, um, you know, a little ink -a dink one here. Ink -a dink -a dink. Ink -a -do 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 -do. You know, I'm just kind of laying this stuff out to see. I'm thinking I might need something under. Might need something under this. Okay, Mina. It might work. That might work. And I think I'm going to put some um, that gel gel medium on this to kind of give it a more uh, like textured fabric-y kind of feel to it once it dries. Inch, do they serve breakfast? Just gonna paste some of this on here, paint some on, and then I'm gonna put that up aside to dry. And then that'll be very durable. Okay. Lori didn't think about bringing it. I'll put that in my glue. I'll put that in my glue bowl. Oh, that's right, Kath. When are you leaving, Kath? Kath's headed to Gatlinburg. So she's uh, getting her laundry done, getting her packing done. All right, let's see here. Uh, maybe this smaller heart. Maybe I'll put that on there. Let's see how we like that. I'd have different threads because I wasn't sure how I want to, but I was thinking I want to put some different knots. Um, no, they don't serve breakfast. Yeah. Is it Gatlin or Catlin? I might be saying it wrong. Uh, seven hours for you. How long of a ride is it for your... Um, for your son and his family? 
Oh, see, my husband and I were thinking, okay, welcome back, Mina. I put some soft gel medium on it, Mina. Because I found, I just started using this, and I found that when it goes over paper, it kind of gives it a really cool finish, and it makes it, you know, kind of durable. Um, so I was thinking about different knots, and um, I had, I was lurking at um, Susan Taylor Brown, and she was talking about, I think it's a bullion. But then when I look that up, it's more, it looks more like a little, like a little wormy, a little wormy thing. But see, like, I think I want to put a little French knot in the corner of my, I'm not good at French knots either. I don't have any, I have, okay, Dee Dee, thanks for stopping in. Um, I don't have, at least I don't think I have any black embroidery thread. I think I have another jar of embroidery thread somewhere. Lord only knows where it is. It might be back in this mess over here. So if I dig around, I know for sure I'm going to have an avalanche. Avalanche. Look how cute these are. I just want to put on stuff that I like, that I think is just beautiful. I just think it's beautiful. Now, I was thinking at the bottom, I might like to have a piece of this. So I'm going to cut this. Eek. Oh, it just started to rain here. Oh, I hope it's not freezing. All right, now let's get a little piece of this cantha. Maybe I'll put that underneath like that. Let's have a little, I can always snip off the edges. I don't want to cover up the, maybe if I go this. Maybe if I go this away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's a little too large. Do, 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 do. I did start a scroll that kind of looked something like this a long time ago well you know where that you're getting rain two inch you know where that went I just have it in the box somewhere and it's really cute but I just don't think about it I'm just trying to get a basic idea of where I want to go of where I want to go I hate to cover up some of this stuff because it's so stinking cute. So stinking. All right. Hmm. This might be a little too big. A little too big, a little too busy. Let's say I might like to have a piece of this for at the top. Barbara, did you have your tart yet? Did I miss it? Oh, there's my answer. Barbara said, I hope Dee Dee saw that I said goodbye. It's hard to type when you have your mouth full of butter tart. I dare say it would be. <laughs> uh, 
my husband made yesterday. He went to card club and he wanted to take a, some goodies. He's, you know, it's their holiday, little holiday thing. And uh, he made a raspberry braid. Puts dough in the dough machine. And um, it's really quite, it's really quite tasty. It's quite tasty. Might like that there. Yes, right. Right. What did Malaya say? Janet, the parties went well, but now Miss Vera has it all. Oh, it might be because she ate food off the gymnasium floor. Woohoo! Okay. All right. So I think the first thing I want to do is I want to put, I really wish I had some black thread, like black um, embroidery floss. I'm trying to think. Oh, let me show you what I got from um, Aaron. Uh, got a bunch of stuff from Aaron, but not a bunch. I got some stuff. But this is the fiber I was going, I was telling you about. Let me show you this. It's from Japan. It's like the slow motion moving. No. Okay, it's called is it Zager? Zager? It's from Japan. Japan, spelled Japan, and then SK on the back end of it. I don't know if that's clearing up for you. And then Bumold, Bumold, B O M U L D. I don't know if you can see this. It lo almost looks like paper, like quilling paper, but it's cotton. 100% cotton. So I thought that might make some cute um, flowers and such. And then here's some green. So I've got green and peach. So I thought that might be fun, right? So if I put, well, I'm going to hit my little word here with my heat gun. So I can get that, let me get this dried up. <laughs> Your illness. She's got the floor on this. All right. So let's see here. So if I start up here, and I want to have my verse here. Maybe I could do some kind of a little flowery thing right there. Now, I don't know how this stuff might sew. But I'm going to try the peach. Let me see if I can find. I mean, I looked this up online for a price. This, this stuff, some of it goes for a pretty good price. And, of course... This is maddening. You would think people that create yarn and fibers and stuff like this, you know, that somewhere along the line, a person who knits or crochets would be, look, $16. I didn't realize that was on there when I looked it up. Um, and I know some of them do have it now where it shows you, like Hobie, I think Hobie does it. Shows you where you can grab your freaking end. How 
How old is Vera? Uh, usually you have to pull like even with yarn, even with yarn. If you pull it, you pull out like half the guts. Hobie has one little thing. It's stuck underneath your paper label. You give it a pull. It's got paper on the end of it. It's very easy to find. Look there. I finally found one. It's much easier if you get it. She's She'll be five next month. Oh, God bless her. So she's the age of my grandson. He's four. He'll be, uh, he'll be five in April. So fun. So fun. All right. So I'm going to try. What, what, can it, what can it harm to try? All right. So let me get my thread. And I'm going to see if I can remember how to make some kind of a flower. Uh, I'm just going to snip. Oh, I'm going to snip a little. A little bit of it. Snip a little bit. See if I can knot the end. And I am going to, right here before your eyes, attempt to do a flur right there. I'm going to attempt to do petals. I'm going to come back down where I started. When I was in elementary school, there was a fellow I went to school with by the name of Michael Harkins. And we were out on the playground. I'll never forget this as long as I live. And somebody had thrown a chocolate. There's peanut butter candy tates in the um, Tasty Cake line. I don't know if you have them everywhere, but we have them here on the East Coast. It's, it's like a Philadelphia thing. And there's chocolate and peanut butter. This was a chocolate one. It has like a white cream rather than peanut butter. And. Okay, so now what I don't know is if I go there, I think I have to go right back down there to kind of. Get that little petal to uh, stitch down. And some kid on the playground, I don't know who the kid was that threw it into the puddle, but threw this tasty cake into the puddle. And Michael Harkins dove right in after it. And he ate it. I'll never forget that. He was either really hungry or didn't get tasty cakes real. Oh, you do? Okay, Mina. I know when my, my aunt first moved down to North Carolina, they had a hard time getting certain things. And Tasty Cake was one of them. But um, that was many, many, many years ago. All right, I'm coming back down here. I'm going to make another, hopefully, another little loop, another little loop-de-doop. And back up through the top of that loop. Yeah, right. Tasty cake with a K. Yep. I personally love the peanut butter candy tastes. And crimpets are a favorite. We, right now we have chocolate. The chocolate cream filled cupcakes in the freezer. All right, now I'm going into the paper. Now, I haven't glued this paper down yet, but let's see. Oh, you know what? I should have done a three petal over this away. I don't know if I can take that back out. Maybe I can. I'm sure it's nowhere near 
the deliciousness of the butter tart. Barbara said, who owns the puddle? I think the puddle was school property. I truly do think it was school property. I think that was like first grade. Michael Harkins. Raspberry. Oh, Gail. Don't think. Try not to think about it, Gail. I do love a scone. Kimberly said her and, B and little Debbie are best friends. My daughter loves their oatmeal pies. At least she did when she was a kid. She probably still likes them. Well, this is not the best rendition of a flower. But I think if I put a French knot there, you know, it might be all right. This stuff is pretty cool, I got to tell you. Just gonna, and this is gonna be stitched down. So I'm just gonna pull, leave a little thread there like that. I may, might even put this on my sew machine to actually finish. Hi, Pam. Finish putting um, this on. I'm gonna use this green though and try to do a French knot. I don't know if I can. Boy, my room still isn't heated up. It's still raining. It doesn't look like... Maybe we're not going to get any snow. Boy, it sure is cold here and it sure does feel like snow. Looks like snow. Smells like snow. Gail said, I'm going to make it for the first time to take to my son's house on Christmas morning, Andrea. Yes, I thought it sounds good. Okay. She's making some kind of a treat, I guess, to take. All right. I'm coming up through the back. I remember. I'm going to wrap my thread several times. One, two, three. I'm going to do four. Oh, let's do five. It's Christmas, for goodness sake. I'm going to poke that through. This is probably not going to be a great knot. Look, it's getting caught on the clip. Oop, good enough. Good enough. So that'll be cute. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, fine. Make me a little knot back here. Have a little snippity dippity. Snippity dippity do. And that's going to, I really could even glue that on. You know? Okay, so that's not too bad. And then if I, I can stitch that around. I cook it out my, hmm. I just saw it, my um, embroidery book that Ann Lauren enabled me to purchase. I could do that and give me, see, I was thinking I wanted a black French knot on my heart here. But maybe I don't. See, there's so much like white going on here. 
I have this peachy color, this peachy salmon color. Thank you, Marty. Let's see what this looks like. Let's put a French knot or a couple of knots in the corner of this little of this little heart. Now, Kathy Arbor will be coming on after me. She comes on at 1 Eastern. Any baked item I'm taking over somewhere needs to ride in the trunk. Oh, I wonder if I have a black seed bead. I don't have much in the way of seed beads. I got some, I know I have some really nice white ones. Let's see, where would I have those, Nina? Where might I have those? She's a genius. I'm not thinking outside the box. Uh-oh. No, tell me it did not pop open. It just hit the floor. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to try to pick this up very carefully in hopes that it's not come undone. She's come undone. I don't think I have any black, but we can have a look-see. Might have something that would be better than... Of course, I don't know that I've ever sewn a seed bead on. I don't even know if I have a needle. That would go through a seed bead, to tell you quite honestly. My daughter is, att is attempting cupcakes, but when she moved, she took all the cupcake. <laughs> I was wondering if I had any more. I guess not. <laughs> kids. What's the matter with kids today? Do -do 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 Let's see. Oh, that looks like a black one. Okay, so this okay, this is gross, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I picked out a blue. You know how the ads pop up on uh, YouTube? This ad popped up for removing blackheads. And whatever this stuff is, I didn't even read it. I just looked at the picture and got grossed out. And I, I just, hey, Janice, good morning. Um, you put this stuff on your skin and your skin could look normal. And you put this stuff on and it turns black. And they're all little blackheads that pop up. And then you just take a rag and wipe them off. Unbelievably gross. Okay, let's see here. Ladies, I want to... Make a traveler journal. What millimeter elastic should I use? Ah, use whatever you have. I don't know millimeters. Pam says quarter inch. I like the round stuff, but I don't know how that comes in sizes. Wait a minute. What does Janice say? Janice, you can use your needle threader to pull thread through when... Then put the needle back on and continue. Oh, I wonder if I have a needle threader. Oh, I think I probably do. Janice is at work, I'm sure. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I know some of you are trying to eat kick. Gail said, yeah, I think round over the flat for Traveler's Journals. But, um, yeah, that's what I prefer, um, Gail. I prefer the round rather than the flat. But if you have the flat and you want to get going on something, I would use the flat. See how you like it. You could always switch it out. Look, see, I was picking off hot glue, and I got hot glue on the ends of my tweezers. So sad. All right, here. Look at me, cake. I'm trying to get this little black. There it is. 
He rolled, he rolled, he rolled, he rolled away. All right, so now I'm just not sure I understand how a needle threader would work. Oh, that's a good idea. Threaders and Happy Mail. All right, I think I may have one. The thing is, do I know where I have it? Oh, but that's the rub. I wonder if my scroll paper is drying. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills, LA. Oh, look, at these, they're pretty. But it's December the 24th, and I'm longing to be up north. I thought for sure I had a threader in here. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Sequins. I have no idea how to put a sequin on. Guess I'll have to watch a video. Just like the ones I used to know. And children, listen. All right, this is a really little skinny. I should have left that thread on there. Dag nab it. Look, I found little pink ones too. All right, so I'm going to take my little heart off. And here's my thread. Thread. I'm going to use, I think this, I mean my bead. I'm going to use a little piece of this thread. Sequins work well if you attach each with, oh, Mina. <gasps> Mina. Oh, hold on. Hold on, girls. This is why Lori doesn't get anything done. She's so easily distracted. Look, I've got iridescent. Ir iridescent. Wait a minute, I've got to shut my box. I don't want all this jazz laying all over. Okay. Okay, I'm um, I'm doing this by the seat of my pants. By the seat of my pants. Okay, now where's that little whoa? Okay, we gotta bring in the other specs for this girls. If I have even a prayer of getting this threaded. Almost had it. Almost had it. Don't anybody talk. <gasps> Almost had it again. There's Carol. Good morning, Carol. Okay. 
<gasps> I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Do, 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 do. I did it. I did it. Do, 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 do. All right. So I'm going to give myself a little nod on the end. I went it up in the left hand corner of this little felt heart. So I guess I'm just going to poke it through, right? And then I'm going to dig out a little. Oh, I'm going to be so excited if this works. A little um, sequin. I have it on my nail, but I don't want to dump the whole. Can you see it on my nail? Uh, oh, I put it on. I think I put it on backwards. Nope, nope, nope. That should be right. Nope, it's upside down. Ah, oh, dag. Okay, okay. Um, whoop. Now, we're going to put my little, where my little bead? There he is. Okay, so. Now I'm just going to, come on, little feller. You're going to like your new home. All right. And that's the perfect size needle. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to see my thread, right? So then I guess you go right back down into that little hole. <gasps> Mina, I did it. Oh, look at it. It's adorable. I would have never thought of Mina. I would have never thought of a seed bead. Thank you. Oh, I love them. I love them. Oh, maybe I'll put a little, a couple little, um, let's see, maybe just down the one side. I want to come in from, okay, so I want to come in, all right, I'm going to go here and just grab a little bit of thread. And then, gosh, I really would like to have my other glasses on, but then I can't see the screen. I pulled something not right. Here we go again. In Beverly Hills, LA. Maybe if I just, it's so much better if you know what you're doing. Of course, it's not as much fun. Okay, so I got one stitch, one stitch, two stitch. I'm going to put that around my finger. And I'm just, just going to make a little, a couple little stitches here. 
just to put some color on the side of the heart. Can you see that little heart? All right, I think it's time. Hubby just went and got his eyes examined yesterday. I think it's time for, as my bonus son would say, Mama Lori, to get her eyes checked. Can you guys see that? One more. I'm so terrible at scheduling doctor's appointments. I, I mean, I am, I'm terrible with my, my health stuff. Really terrible. <sighs> I don't want that not there. I could have pulled that tighter. Oh, well. <laughs> oh well we're going to leave that we're not going to be fussing around with it now you know I have to trim those tails and stuff but see okay so okay 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 look I have a bulb pin stuck to my sleeve This is getting very chilly in here. Have we gone fuzzy? Oh no, it's my screen. It looks clear to me, but I don't know. Excuse me, I'm gulping. I don't know, guys. Okay, so what else can I do before I... Our junkie says it's clear. Okay, clear. All right, keep me posted. Keep me posted. I'm trying to think what I what I have. I know I have a bunch of funky ribbons and stuff. Maybe let's maybe let's sew on a button. I'm going to take a little bit of this pink cheesecloth. I just ordered some buttons from the market from Miss Caroline. She's the one that has um, like all her mom's buttons. She's been selling some of her mom's buttons. And Caroline is hoping to come on with me and visit sometime in the new year. So we can talk buttons. She said she's not an expert. She's self-taught. And I said, well, you're our expert. Where did Lori put them? Lori is always moving things. Okay, I had just dropped down to 140. Okay, for some sometimes it does it. Who knows why? Who knows why? I think I put them over here. And I got some really cute ones that I just picked up. I think might look cute on my prayer. These are, I think, supposed to be glass. Not supposed to be. These, I think, are glass. If I remember what I got. Uh oh. Oh no, I think something busted. 
I got little chips. Oh, this one, the back busted in shipping. This one's okay. Oh, that's too bad. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's supposed to be a state or a... Hmm, I'll have to get a magnifier. I might put that on there, huh? What do you think? That might look good with a piece of this darker, on this darker stuff. Let's let's have a little let's have a little snippet of this. So what I'm basically doing, and I don't know if it's you know, I'm thinking it's all good, right? You can do whatever you can do whatever you want. I'm just like layering and making a cluster in a way. So let me get my thread and needle again. <laughs> Marty thought the fuzziness was her brain. All right, so I'm going to come through the back end of my cheesecloth, and I've got a piece of my cantha, and then this is a glass, it's like an iridescent button, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to add that and stitch it onto my cantha. Going to put a couple of stitches in there. I was thinking I wanted to put like a little felted bird on here somewhere, but I couldn't get like I've been cutting out my circles of felt on my um, cuddle bug, and I have one of those big fat chunky die cut things you know and then of course I've got a lot of like thin lit ones so I was trying to do a thin lit shape bird but I can't get that to cut out so I guess I could trace and cut a bird by hand but Me to slug? You talking about me to slug? Yeah, I'm the slug for sure. Yeah, I need new glasses too. But it's not an emergency unless I can't find my pie hole. So, you know, I put everything off. I put everything off. When it comes to things like that. Because I still can find my pie hole. Alright, where do I want to put this? See, now this is where I'm going to have a stitch line. This is what I was saying earlier. This is where I want to have a stitch line. Here and here. So I can slip my scroll in. So I don't want to put this right over top of one of these pins because I've got to run the sewing machine there. See? See what I'm saying, girls? It's what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm dreaming. Of a white Christmas. Do, do, do. I was watching Anne for a little bit this morning when I was getting prepared for to. And now that's not right, Lori. I got to go through prepared for my stream. And uh, they, she was talking about, you know, sleeping, and maybe it's an old age thing. 
not sleeping as well as you used to, but I'm thinking it's because we nap. So maybe we nap and don't realize we're napping. Okay, so you can see this isn't going so well. I've got it, I've got it all twisted. What the heck did I do? Yeah, here comes the needle out again. I've got it all twisted. <sighs> yeah, Malia's been up since four with a sick child with gym gym floor illness. It was probably a really good bite the kid dove for. Although I got to tell you this, this just, this blew my mind. Okay. Oh gosh, Carol's been up since 2.30. I was up at four yesterday for no good reason. Well, that's not true. It's because I had a nap. Um, okay, so we're at my daughter's house. I've got my mother with me, who's 91. She doesn't want to go out much anymore, but we had talked her into going out. Got her in the house. My daughter's got steps. My husband's there. We're having Chinese. The grandkids, you know, they, they eat fairly good most of the time. And they like Chinese. But my, my son, my grandson's getting a little more stubborn. He's four. You know, he has his moments. Okay, Janet Nash is going to be right back. Okay, Janet. And, um... You know, he's enjoying his food. Next thing you know, we hear this ruckus. Now, my daughter and my son-in-law, they make the kids, they make the kids eat. And what I said was, you know, you make them eat a whole hamburger, macaroni and cheese, you know, a vegetable. You you make them eat at four and seven as much food as you eat at 36 and 35 years old. Okay. To me, there's, there's something wrong there. Like give the four-year-old a half of a hamburger. And my daughter said, well, mom, it's because when they get up from the table in 20 minutes, they want something else to eat. Well, me too, because sometimes after you eat a meal, you want a little something sweet. And if you don't want them to, to eat like that, you say, you know what? You didn't eat all your, your dinner, so you need to wait an hour before you can have a snack. I mean, why isn't that okay? There have been times when the grandson is trying to eat what he's told to eat so he doesn't have to have a time out. It looks like he's going to throw up, okay? I mean, I've, I've shared my thoughts with her about this. But the kid's doing really good with the Chinese food. We're sitting there. And then we hear this commotion. Well, the poor kid hit hit the table, hit the plate wrong. It flipped up, went down onto the floor. He looks like a deer in headlights. His parents say, you know, it was an accident. You know, we'll just pick it up. So he gets down on the floor. He picks it up, puts it on his plate, sits it on the table, and sits down and proceeds to eat his food on his plate well then guess what grandma looked like she was the one the deer in headlights i'm like there's plenty of food and my daughter said oh no it's okay we do this all the time the floor is clean Oh, thank you, Barbara. Have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas. And I'm sorry, I'm thinking to myself, what kind of fresh hell is this? I mean, sorry, excuse me, but kid ate it. Of course, he was home. It wasn't a gym floor, but are you kidding me? It's not like we were in a third world country. It was an accident. The kid didn't throw it on the floor. It was an accident. <sighs> I was horrified. Sorry. I was horrified. 
Maybe it's just me. Okay, this is not easy to sew this on because really I should I should have taken all this apart. Let me take out this. I'm reevaluating here. I'm reevaluating. I can put those back in. I just want to get my little buttony thing on. Did I miss Kathy Whitney? There she is. Hi, Kathy. I hope you're doing okay and hope your hubby's doing okay. Yeah, I know. So I'm thinking, uh, so then we were just there for cookie day. And the grandson, of course, you know, again, age four. Doesn't like anything anymore. Doesn't want to eat anything. You know, he wants something that's not being fixed we were having pizza so i thought oh well here we go we're gonna have a harangue about the kid eating pizza so he don't come to the table he don't come to the table he don't come to the table and i'm wait i'm waiting i'm waiting for the you know the shoe to drop where mom and dad are like you have to come eat or you're gonna be in time at you know because that's usually the well, to my delight, they just left them alone. Okay, Gail, take care. If I don't see you, Merry Christmas. And um, they didn't. They just left them alone. And then after a while, my daughter said, Jack, are you going to come eat some pizza? He came out to the table, sat down, and gobbled down his pizza in like a nanosecond. It was wonderful. I couldn't believe it. Okay, this is not the best way to sew this on. But of course, I'm like yapping. All right, so what is my time? Okay, it's just a little after 12. Okay, so I'll go about another half hour. So let me show you. This is what really what I'm thinking. So, this is what I'm thinking. So, I have my piece of felt. This was a skirt that I bought from Goodwill that I felted in my washing machine. That was quite a stretch because we don't have the kind that fills, you can fill it up with a lot of water now. You know, it's that. You know, it's better for the environment or whatever. We, we save water and all that jazz. So I left my, and then I took my ribbon, which was wired. I took the wires out and I left this a little longer up top because I'm going to flip this and stitch it. So I have a way to hang my scroll. You know, I, I'm still not liking how that's. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to staple it. Wait a minute. I'm interrupting myself, but I'm going to do it while I'm thinking. I'm going to get my tiny attacher in there. Why not, right? I can do whatever I want. Gail said so. Gail said for me to do what I want. So when I went through some market stuff, I found these darling little earrings that I liked that I purchased. And on the earring card was this Bible verse from um, Proverbs 31. Who can find a virtuous woman for her prices far above rubies? Proverbs 31.10. So I'm going to put that on my little felted oval, which I tea stained. And then I did a little half flower up here with this cool fiber that I purchased. All right. So then I'm going to either stitch or glue that on. And I've got a piece of lace here. I'm going to trim that. I can trim it further. I'm going to leave that a little bigger than probably what I want. And then eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch across and make little pockets. I put this backing on. See, I've got that on. Caddy Wonkus too. 
Hi, Roberta. But then I'm going to stitch and make little pockets so I can put my scroll in. Several scrolls. I wonder where that came. Oh, that's a button also. Oh, cool. Right? Yeah, I know. I know. I could glue it, but I'm trying to do, I'm wanting to do a stitching thing, Ange. So I stitched all the way down the side here. That was quite a harang to get that started. And now I've just pinned some different things on here that I want. And then I did a little sequence and a little bead. I mean, it's not there on the best, but it, I mean, that's the first one I ever did. That's the first one I ever did. I love him. I do have my hot glue gun plugged in. So, you know, I may at some point hot glue. So I just want to make um, sure I don't stitch anything where I want to run my stitches to make my pockets. You know, and I really want to load it up. You know, so I've got to find my jump rings. See, here's one of these earrings. But see, if I take this off, see that part's on the jump ring. And I put it on a little, here, let's just do it. See if I can. Let me get my little, let me get my little snips. I have a little pair of snips here. Marty's going by Marty. Merry Christmas. I'll probably see you somewhere before then, but just in case. Just in case. All right, let me snip this off. I don't want to snip my jump ring. Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. My son called the other day and he said, Mom, can you believe it's almost Christmas? Kid's 36. He said, I can't believe how close it is. All right, so I've got a little bulb pin right here on my shirt. I just have to wrap, Kath. I'm, I'm almost ready. So now, look, I got that on my little bulb pin. Right, and I can pin that somewhere here on my. And I put it on. I never know which way to put these so they hang correctly. This is probably going to move, girls, but I'm just saying. See, doesn't that look cute? Oh, I'm such a junk queen. I love all this crap. I love it. So what I did earlier as our, as we were warming up, so I took um, strips from my adding machine roll, about 24, 25 inches. And I had, um, oh, it's still damp. I had coffee, not coffee. I will say coffee because I usually do coffee. Tea stained it. Look, I'm just going to dry this up a little bit so we can get rolling, rolling, rolling. There you go. Well, I had gotten that yarn stuff from Erin and I was digging through that and this lady had, a, as a normal knitter and crocheter, a lot of different the project started so I was pulling some stuff out and she had used the bulb pins as um, stitch markers so that's where that one was on my shirt I pulled it off and hit it to my shirt but I thought how clever was that now I just you don't have to coffee stain the paper I just wanted to come to stain I just wanted to do it because I wanted to look not real white. Okay, I think that's pretty dry. So then see what I'm going to do is once I get things where I want, I'm going to start rolling this. 
I should roll it around a um, paintbrush or something to make my little scroll. See, and then I can date and write on here what I need to be praying for, whatever, or who, you know, who, whatever. Ooh. And you don't have to make it as long. I might end up attaching things to this too. I don't, I just don't know. You know? Now I decided to put a backing on my prayer scroll because I want to be able to slip this in. See, now I'm going to have to figure this out because this was not a good idea, but I have to go in and, and fix this. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But the idea is, let's see down here where I'm not attached. The, this will slip in here and hold my scroll. Let's move this pin down a little bit. So if you're going to do anything like this, do not, do not attach, and you're going to do a backing like I did, just leave that off till you're ready to stitch it on. But that's the idea. See, and I wanted this to be a little narrower so I could see my scrolls. So I'm just going to continue to work on it, but I'm going to have to take this off. So this, I might have to rework that. See, this is just a piece of oh, hanky, like an oh, a man, man's hanky. So I don't want to lose the stitches that I'm, I've done there. So I think I'm just going to cut the hanky and I'll get myself another piece. And then I just tea stained that. See, and then I'll have several. I'm, I'll have enough compartments to have six or seven scrolls. And so then when I want to sit down and pray, I just pull out a scroll and pray for whatever's on that scroll that I pull out for that day. And then I left it longer at the bottom so I can, you know, hang dingly dangly things on it. And then I'll put some kind of little thing up here, you know, so I can hang it here in my art room. So that's the idea, girls. So let's see, it's quarter after 12. So I think I'm going to get scooting here. I just love my heart. I just love my heart. But I'm going to come around on here on the screen and do some, you know, more French knots and do some other little stitchings. Maybe I'll look in my book that Anne, that Anne twisted my arm. No, Anne didn't twist my arm. Anne was showing her copy of this. Um, Oh, gosh, it's a beautiful, beautiful embroidery book. I just had it out the other day. I don't know if I can grab it real quick. Eh, I got everything stacked. Um, I don't know if Carol's still here. She probably knows the name of it. So my next scheduled day to stream is Sunday. Christmas. I won't be here, girls. Won't be here. Going to be over in Pennsylvania with my family. So, I don't know if I'll pop on between now and then. Might do a video. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just you know, wait to the last minute to do stuff that I need to get done. So, I wish you all a very blessed holiday. Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your food. Barbara said all the calories have been canceled for Christmas. So, keep that in mind while you're enjoying, okay? Well, thank you all so very much for being here. I appreciate having you with me here this morning. and. Um, I guess that's it for me until I see you next time. So as I say, don't forget to be creative. Take some time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I shall see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.